Well, doctors are learning more about how COVID can infect the brain and what this means for long haulers. Yeah, Five Finger Science Tracy Henson sat down with a St. Louis University Hospital neurologist to get a better grasp of what scientists know now and what still needs to be figured out. What we do know is that about a third of the people that are infected with um, the virus will end up experiencing long-lasting symptoms and many of the symptoms, if not all of them, happen to be nervous system symptoms. And what you will learn is the nervous system controls a lot in our bodies. Mood or memory or anxiety or energy level. A practicing neurologist and researcher at St. Louis University Hospital, Dr. Linares is not surprised the brain is playing a large role in long COVID. The entirety of the human experience is located in the brain, so it is reasonable to think that the brain would be involved in these long haul COVID symptoms. Why some people have cognitive issues after COVID and others do not is unknown. But there is a clear link between contracting COVID and brain function issues That's for about 30% of patients. And how the virus is getting to the brain in the first place is likely through the nose. We have figured out that it is likely that the virus can also access the brain by traveling through the olfactory um, fibers. Dr. Linares is also researching the link between long COVID and possibly strokes. He explains. I think people who have COVID and also have a stroke, there's probably a direct correlation of COVID and the blood vessels in the brain. Potentially a link between bigger strokes for people who have had COVID. But more research needs to be done before arriving at a conclusion. In St. Louis, I'm Tracy Hinson, Five on Your Side.